Hi friends, my name is Nandita. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Good morning dear students. Today we are going to discuss about locomotion and movement from chapter 20, Biology, class 11, CBSE syllabus. Children, let us discuss about ribs. In vertebrate anatomy, the ribcage is a bony structure made up of ribs, their connections to the sternum and the vertebral column. It makes up the thoracic and chest and protects the heart and lungs. The ribcage is made up of 24 ribs attached to the 12th thoracic vertebrae and the sternum. Each rib is joined to the thoracic vertebrae and the sternum by its joints and cartilage allowing for slight movement while breathing and performing other tasks. Ribs are classified according to the connection to the sternum. Through ribs articulate with the sternum whereas false ribs do not. The 11th and 12th ribs also known as floating ribs and are considered false ribs because they do not connect to the sternum. Ribs are anatomically made up of a head with two articular facets, tubercle, a neck, a shaft and a coastal groove. The typical structure of a rib is divided into several components. The ribs are curved bars which movably articulated with the thoracic vertebrae at the back and with the sternum in front. All collectively form a bony cage, the thoracic basket. There are 12 pairs of ribs. Each rib is a thin flat bone connected dorsally to the vertebral column and ventrally to the sternum. It has two articulation faces on its dorsal and an bicephalic. First seven pairs of ribs which are attached to the thoracic vertebrae and ventrally connected to the sternum with the help of hyaline cartilage are called true ribs. The 8th, 9th and 10th pairs of ribs do not articulate directly with the sternum but join the 11th rib with the help of hyaline cartilage. These are called vertebrochondrial ribs. Last two pairs, 11th and 12th of ribs are not connected ventrally and are therefore called floating ribs. Thoracic vertebrae, ribs and sternum together forms the rib cage. Children led ribs are classified into three categories based on the attachment to the breast bone. First one is true ribs which is also called vertebrosternal ribs. These are the first seven pairs of ribs attaching directly to the sternum with their own coastal cartilages. Next one is false ribs, vertebrochondrial ribs. The following three pairs of ribs, 8th, 9th and 10th are known as the false ribs because they do not directly attach it to the sternum. Instead of this, their coastal cartilages are connected to the rib cartilage above. Floating ribs. The last two pairs of ribs, 11th and 12th are termed floating ribs because their anterior ends are free and do not attach it to the sternum or any other ribs. They are embedded in the muscles of the abdominal wall. Ribs are essential for respiration. During inhalation, the muscles between the ribs contract, pulling them up and down outward. This action expands the chest cavity, allowing the lungs to take in more air. Exhalation relaxes the muscles and returns the ribs and chest cavity to their resting position, allowing air to exhibit the lungs. Then let us discuss the functions of ribs. The ribs perform several vital functions in the body. Protection. The ribs forms a protective enclosure around essential organs such as the heart and lungs, safeguarding them from the external harm. Respiration. The ribcage expands and contracts during breathing, aiding in lung expansion and air intake. Posture support. Ribs offer structural support for the spine, aiding in maintaining an upstraight posture and balance. Muzzle attachment. Ribs act as point of attachment for muzzle involving in breathing and movement of the trunk. Blood cell production. The ribs contain bone marrow where red and white blood cells are generated. Thermal generation. The rib cage helps regulate body temperature by assisting in the expansion 
and contraction of the lungs which can impact heat exchange during breathing the ribs protect the heart large blood vessels and lungs they bear respiratory muscles external and internal intercostal muscles the two pairs of ribs 11th and 12th protect the kidney